Last video, I built a gun, a flying gun, the American dream, the thing the founding fathers were thinking of when they wrote the second amendment. But why stop there? This is the 21st century for crying out loud. We had flying tanks 70 years ago. How come we went back in time? Sure, we have A-10s now, but where are the tracks? Where's the turret? And how can I pick up my Mac Drive order when my wings are in the bloody way? That's it. I'm doing it myself. First off, we need the chassis. For that, I'm using these fuel tanks. And I made sure that even though the tank is electric, we fill it to the brim so that no sane enemy in the same zip code will shoot at us in fear of blowing him and the city blocker. And if that wouldn't be enough, there are enough nuclear reactors in the back of this to make Chernobyl look like a fucking tea party. Here we did a small test run with a cool and totally unnecessary exhaust system. Now that the body is functioning, we can get to the turret. I'ma be honest. I had no clue how to make the barrel small enough so it doesn't look like shit and big enough so it can actually fire shit. But here it is. Let's get in position and fire for the first time. Okay, that was bad. Let's position the rounds differently. This time we do it the old way. We use a rocket engine inside the barrel to fire the projectile. So the first shot was a misfire and we have to engage the brakes. Let's give it another go. And fire! And impact! I've built a bloody mortar. Alright, let's try two rounds. So I did some more testing. And well, let's just make it fly already. Okay, so I decided that it should be able to drop the wings and just be dropped into combat. And to do that and be as cheap as possible, I just built a frame with wings and an engine. Okay, the first test flight. Seems stable being stationary. Now let's get it rolling. All nice and well. I'm quite surprised it's not sliding one way. Well, it's sliding a little and we're going off the runway here and would you look at that. We have lift off. And let's try and turn and maybe a bit too fanatic. Okay, we'll give it another shot. And I tilted up too soon, we blew off the back. Well, okay, let's see if we can still try and drop it. Incoming. Three, two, one, go. It could use a softer landing or not. Now, to the old airfield. I'm going to let it roll off the airfield and then pull up to avoid a collision. Now that we are airborne, we can gently set our course to the testing grounds. And we are getting close. Now, I'm gonna be honest. This thing isn't the easiest to fly, as it's quite unstable and keeps wanting to dive. On a positive note, the view is amazing.
and we are getting ready for the big drop and well it was to be expected RRP.